Let's take the ball away. At this Pilates studio, they don't come here just for a workout. They're looking for relief. I would say about 50% of our clients come to us initially due to pain um, or injury, and probably maybe half of that is specifically low back or some kind of pelvic or hip pain. On any given day, at least one in five Canadians experiences some form of lower back pain, and there are numerous products on the market promising to protect us from the recurring aching and throbbing. But now, a scientific review of all the major research on the subject found there's really only one treatment that reduced the recurrence of common lower back pain by as much as 40%. Exercise programs and also exercise programs combined with education. Lots of other things that people do, such as um, orthotics in shoes, back braces, um, redesigning the workplace, they weren't shown to be effective for reducing low back pain. For the majority of people, I'd say 80 to 90 percent of individuals, there's no quick fix. This orthopedic surgeon is not surprised by the research. He treats complex back problems, though in most cases, they're not. Orthotics and back support accessories may feel comfortable, but they usually don't prevent lower back pain from returning. Physical activity is still the best prescription. If one exercise hurts, then that doesn't mean you can't try 20 others that are going to be just as effective. And if you're having trouble with doing it on your own, then yeah, you should certainly talk with a, with a professional. And turn your thumb up to come back up. The study found exercises don't need to focus on the lower back, but rather whole body fitness to build strength and endurance and to keep those pains from coming back. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.